this story you'll only see right here, a battle over how much Kansans pay in taxes could lead Governor Laura Kelly to issue her first veto. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, the governor told 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial the GOP-backed plan could take the state the wrong direction. Governor Laura Kelly described tax cuts right now as a U-turn heading in the wrong direction for a state that's trying to recover from financial issues. Mention former Governor Sam Brownback to someone in Kansas. Chances are you'd hear groans, groans in reference to tax cuts leading to the state being cash strapped. I have said very consistently for well over a year now uh, that we need to let the dust settle on our revenue situation. The dust hasn't settled in Kelly's opinion. This while a new tax cut bill is on her desk awaiting her signature. If we make that U-turn, the impact will be swift and it will be deep. The tax cuts would do three things, provide cuts for large companies, let you itemize your state refund, and lower the grocery tax by 1%. I think we need a few more <laughs> for us, not the top people. Lowering the second highest grocery tax in the country is something many support. If signed by the governor, your $70 grocery bill could be reduced by nearly a dollar. I recognize that that is a problem, but again, I want to let the dust settle. You know, we can talk about this when we know where we are revenue wise uh, and there, there are more ways than one to give people relief on their food sales. But when you lump in cuts for businesses, that's where some have concerns. A cut on groceries, uh, that would be a good thing. Uh, some of the tax cuts uh, as far as for uh, the businesses. Uh, that maybe needs to be something that they need to take a look at. We asked Governor Kelly if she would veto the bill. I will not change my stance that this is not the time to be making uh, changes, uh, but I never decide finally what I'm going to do on an issue until I've actually had a chance to review it. Ask if tax cuts right now would be a speed bump to the progress made. It wouldn't be a speed bump. It would be a U-turn uh, back to disaster. Reporting in Topeka, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.